And now back to tonight's election results. We've been telling you about these races for weeks now. All statewide propositions passed today, all seven. And tonight we're taking a deeper look into how this affects everybody across Texas. KXAN political reporter Phil Prazen is here to explain what this means for you. So with Proposition 1, Texas doesn't have a statewide property tax, right? So they couldn't just cut your tax rate. But what they did do is spend $1.2 billion for you. So on average, the state will pick up the tab for around $125 per home per year that starts this year. And as for Proposition 7, for those who think traffic is horrible in Central Texas, this approves money that could be used to revamp I-35. What you're looking at is the Mobility Austin Initiative. It's a decade-long plan to expand the interstate, more lanes, more options. The money from Prop 7 kicks in in 2017, and here are the projects tentatively slated for that year. There's a project on Runberg, new, near Onion Creek, near Kyle Crossing, and there are almost $220 million worth of projects that year, and this new money dedicated to highways could help Austin down the road. Robert, Shannon. Phil, thanks. One of the issues in this year's election, the homestead exemption, that's part of a bigger issue of affordability here in Austin. The median price for a single-family home is $258,000. That's an all-time high. While the higher homestead exemption would help, people are still being priced out of the market. Or